knowing that some political incident could happen and they would be arbitrarily detained in the same way the two Michaels have been? I think that when it comes to the uh, Canadian people going to China, whether it's for business or tourism or study, they should not be afraid of anything like that. But of course, if very, very small number of people, they are engaged in those criminal activities, whether it's Canadian or other nationalities, of course, you know, it's uh, quite reasonable and justified for us to take relevant measures. But I think for the vast majority of people, they should not be worried about that. And I think that's why when I talk to people here, all the presidents from the universities of the U15, they would like to encourage their students to go to China, whether it's for a semester or it's just for a few weeks of study. So that they can learn a lot more about China. And for those people here, when I talk to them, as long as they have been to China, I think more or less, they have a more ob objective reading of China. China is not a police state, you know. Some people would suggest that China has a curfew. It's nothing like that. If you walk on the Chinese streets, it's quite safe. And that's the impression of so many foreigners going to China. So really, I'd like to- Ambassador, I'd like to thank you there because I'd like to keep the time with the university schedule here.